Okay, this is kind of a continuation of getting comfortable with both feet on the getting both feet on the on the pedals. Uh, first video that I did or the first set was one one foot. Second was more of a kind of a hop, and I was feeling pretty uh, pretty ready to get both feet on the pedals. So after taking a break and thinking about it for a little while, I think the best option for me is to kind of continue that process. So I'm going to bring the wheel over here and uh, try that some more. Yeah, I'm just trying to use both feet at the same time, trying not to lean too much and rely too much on my hand, but try to get comfortable with the balance. You can see me wobbling back and forth. That's me actually trying to get the balance back and forth on the wheel as I'm, as I'm going to try not to lean on, the, on, my, on my crutch. As I'm doing this, I'm starting to feel the synchronization between my my foot and my ankle and my knees. And actually, where I'm feeling the uh, the crutch point is lower body to upper body, right in here. I feel like sometimes my upper body is out of sync with my lower body. So as I'm not trying to lean too much on the on my crutch here. I'm trying to keep my body rigid a little more and keep it in sync. Starting to get it. I kind of want to just go. It's kind of what I want to do. So I feel like my body's pretty much in balance now. What I don't feel like I've got a good handle on is the accelerometer and decelerometer, when to push. I kind of have to sync both of those up together. So I've got the balance, but now keeping that in line with that reverse pendulum and keeping your balance forward as you move, as you, as you lean in and try to get going. Probably where I just gotta go for it. Not ready yet. I'm going a little quicker. And I'm constantly thinking as, as you guys are watching this. What the experienced guys are uh, are giggling about watching me and saying, "Hey, you should have done this ten minutes ago." <laughs> but one thing I know is you guys were here too at some point. That's the thing. This is the great equalizer. Is learning the first time. That was interesting. So what's the, I'm uh, just, just trying to think through what the feedback is that'll be help you guys as, I, as I'm doing this. So what, I've, what, I'm, what I'm trying to feel out is I'm trying to feel out the application of the pressure of the balls of, and, the, and, and my toes of leaning forward. And I'm not yet sure whether I've got my foot placed correctly right now. For me, it feels like I want the toes, my toes a little more forward. Again, once I get riding, I'll get a better feel for it. But right now, I kind of want, I feel like I want it on the edge. 
And now all I'm doing is I'm applying a little pressure with my toes and the balls of my foot. And that's what's getting me going. It's pretty good. Or maybe not, depending on, uh, depending on your point of view. But I'm feeling pretty good. So I feel like I can get going. So that's okay. And now this is when it's really kind of kind of helpful. It's can I can I do a mount? And this is I think this is actually the next step is can you mount and balance? That wasn't bad. Again, I'm trying not to rely too much on the crutch. It's there. I want to come back to it. But as much as possible, I think you want to maintain kind of separation. Here we go. I know it's not too exciting watching a first timer and newbie stumble through this, but by the same token, I think it's helps. It helps the first timers. If for no other reason, a little empathy to see what it's like. So I can tell my brain is not yet tuned in to coordinate the balance. So I feel good there, but I don't yet have that balance of down below and that, that, that internal course correction to maintain the balance, but it's close. I feel like I'm taking a good first step. I'll pause the video here, call that step three or step four. I'm starting to lose track. Take a little break and rethink and think through this again. <laughs> 